Good morning. Today, Friday, 9th of October 2015. Paper highlights read by Christina Arul Selvam. First, let's move to the paper highlights from Daily Mirror. FCID notice to show codes for violating provisions of Public Property Act. Colombo Additional Magistrate Nishanta Pedis yesterday noticed the FCID to show cause as why it had violated a court procedure and, and produced former President Secretary Lalit Viratunga and former TRC Director General Anusha Palpiter in High Court without producing them before the Magistrate. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror Select Committee to probe CB role in the past decade. A select committee is to be appointed. A look into all fraudulent acts had been carried out at the central bank during the past 10 years, Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe informed Parliament yesterday. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror, Paradaj Singham killing. Two ex-LTTE cutters were arrested by the CID in connection with the killing of former TNA parliamentarian Joseph Paradaj Singham, police said yesterday. Mr. Pararaj Singham was shot dead on December 25, 2005 inside St. Michael's Church in Batikalo. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror, Port City Project CA asked AG to file fresh environmental report. The Court of Appeal yesterday directed uh, Attorney General to file a fresh environmental impact assessment report on or before November 17 pertaining to the Colombo Port City Development Project. The matter came up before the Court of Appeal, President Justice Vijita M. Malalgoda, Attorney General, had earlier moved for the time to submit a fresh environmental impact assessment report and court had granted for the time till October 8. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror, cancel CB transfers, opposition. The opposition yesterday urged the government to cancel all transfers given to some on 100 officers at the central bank stating it had pushed the bank into the crisis. Mr. Gunavardhana said around 100 officers had been transferred suddenly. He said the institutions such as the central bank which played the key role in the country's finance could not afford to go into a crisis. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror Chores in house over CB transfers. There was a chores in Parliament yesterday when opposition MP Dinesh Gunavardhana request for an adjournment motion in the transfer of officers at Central Bank was turned down by Speaker Karujai Surya. Mr. Gunavardhana said he should be allowed to read out the motion as per standing orders. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror: New traffic plan to each conjunctions. A new traffic plan will be introduced from Monday day between 7.30 a.m. to 8.45 p.m. to ask the conjunction in Colombo, the police department said yesterday. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror, Indian Power Sage Tiger Rail Crisis. The leading trade union of Sri Lanka's railway yesterday abrited the continuous breakdown of Indian built power sets for the cancellation of trains, delays and slow running of the trains and other disruption in the railway sector. Now let's move to the paper highlights from Daily News. Those father on national list dismissed. The Supreme Court yesterday referred leave to proceed to the fundamental rights petition filed by, filed by Communist Party General D.E.W. Gunasekara challenging the inclusion of the defeated candidates in the national list as the parliamentarian. While deciding the dismissed fundamental right petition, the Supreme Court three-judge bench comprising the Chief Justice K. Sri Pavan, Justice Sisera D. Andrew and Justice Anil Gunaratna observed that there is no legal basis to grant leave to proceed with the petition. Another news highlight from Daily News, 17 prison officers in Vele Sudas pay interdicted. 17 prison officers of the magazine prison identify as having received bribes from drug kidnapping Gampala Vitanage Samantha Kumara Alice Vele Suda were indirected from October 7th. Prison Commissioner General Rohana Pushpa Kumara said. Another news highlight from Daily News, now Seya's father DNA to be test. It yet another twist on Seya's 
സന്ദേവ് മി റേപ്പ് ആൻഡ് മേർഡർ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റിഗേഷൻ ഇൻ മിനുവാങ്കോട ചീഫ് മജിസ്ട്രേറ്റ് യെസ്റ്റർഡേ ഓർഡർ ദസ് എ ഔസ് ഫാദർ ബി സബ്ജെക്ട് ടു ദ ഡി എൻ എ ടെസ്റ്റ് സിൻസ് ദ ആർ വർ സ്റ്റിൽ അലൈൻമെന്റ് ടു ബി ഡൌട്ട് സറൌണ്ടിംഗ് ദ ക്രൈം ദ ഡി എൻ എ റിപ്പോർട്ട് ഓഫ് വൺ ഓഫ് ദ സസ്പെക്ട് ദിനേഷ് പ്രിയദർശന അലൈസ് കുണ്ടയ വസ് റിസീവ് യെസ്റ്റർഡേ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് നോട്ട് മാച്ച് വിത്ത് ദ സാമ്പിൾസ് ടേക്കൻ ഫ്രോം ദ ബോഡി ഓഫ് സേയ Another news highlight from Daily News Police say students human rights not violated Police officer who appear before the Human Rights Commission said human rights of student taken into custody allegedly by police over the murder of the 5 year old girl at Kotadeniava has not been violated This was reported when the Human Rights Commission yesterday heard the case filed by the Ceylon Teachers Union on the human rights violation of the student. Another news highlight from Daily Mirror, CID confirmed Agnelli Goda held at Giridale camp. The Criminal Investigation Department has confirmed that journalist Pragit Agnelli Goda had been denied at the Giridale army camp soon after his arrest in 2010 and had then disappeared. The CID is carrying out the investigation related to the above incident at the Giridale camp. They have taken with them seven suspects including the rehabilitated LTTE cutters. Another news highlight from Daily News, Gota quiz again. The Presidential Commission of Inquiry yesterday Semyun former defense secretary Gotabaya Rajapaksha again for questioning over the alleged deployment of civil security department personnel during the last presidential campaign according to the commission sources Rajapaksha was among the nine persons who was moved to the commission of questioning yesterday another news highlight from daily news Two more baby elephants of Ali Roshan found Another two baby elephant which Ali Roshan had kept in his possession with fake license received recover on Wednesday from a land belonging to him in Panipitia Nirad Roshan alias Ali Roshan was arrested in March 2015 by the CID on charges of kidnapping elephants after obtaining a fake license and released on bail Now let's move to the paper highlights from Ceylon today Another ship sees with 810 weapons Avant Garde Maritime Service ran into choppy waters once again when one of its character ships carrying 810 weapons was seized on Tuesday by the Sri Lanka Navy The Sri Lankan flagged ship was seized by the Navy nautical miles of Gul Harbor Navy spokesperson Commander Indika De Silva speaking to Ceylon Today said Another news highlight from Ceylon Today Obama apologized on Afghan bombing US US President Barack Obama has apologized to the president of Ed Agency Medicine San Fronterias for a bombing at killing at least 22 people. The US has said the bombing which took place in the Afghan city of Ghuduz was mistake it was attempting to strike the Taliban. Another news highlight from Ceylon today, Rossi want vote recount. Former State Minister and Parliamentarian Rosi Senanayake filed a petition at Supreme Court yesterday. Another news highlight from Ceylon today, Lasanta murder. Police seek public assistance. Police and the Criminal Investigating Department have asked for public assistance in continuing the investigation into the assassination of the prominent journalist Lasanta Vikramasinghe. We brought you the paper highlights of today's newspaper. We will bring you more tomorrow.